Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're a returner, then thanks very much. It's really lovely to have your company. Um, I've just come on to do another quick clothes haul video um, because, like I mentioned in the last video, it's it's uh, the summer holidays and I'm kind of seeing the children more, so I'm kind of doing these when I can. So I, you might get a couple of clothes together and then there might be a bit more of a break, but um, still getting new subscribers, which is absolutely fabulous, and um, lots of comments. And I do try and reply to everybody but YouTube has a funny way of, of kind of telling me about the comments. Some people, it comes up as a pop-up that I've had a comment. And other people, there's absolutely no indication that there's been a comment. And, um, and then I, I kind of just come across them. So I'm sorry if I haven't replied to you. Um, I'm doing my best to, to keep up because I think if you're taking the trouble to comment, on my videos then I will try and at least acknowledge that I've read it if I can't do anything else so it's another lovely day here today I've got a Matalan haul um, a few dresses and one top I am honestly not sure how they're going to be because Matalan can be a little bit hit and miss with sizing uh, but hopefully they'll be okay uh, so I'll do the usual thing I'll kind of do this little intro and then I will try on the dresses and then I'll do a little round up at the end and um, sort of talk about the experience of Matalan. What I should say at the outset is that um, I was, just because I'm a Matalan member, not because I'm doing YouTube or anything, I got a 20% off discount code, which kind of prompted me to um, order these dresses. And they're always doing discount codes. I mean, like I think I've said before, I keep an email address that I use for all of these things and uh, I just keep my eye on that if there's a promotion or if a company is offering uh, new subscribers um, a discount, then I've got like three email addresses and I'll use my husband's too if I think that I can get away with it to order something. So um, there's Dolly. A few people have asked about Dolly, so I will try and bring her on at the end of the video as well. But uh, she's a big dog, so she kind of does what she likes, and um, I certainly can't lift her up or anything like that. So I'll try and entice her at the end with some treats. So if you're a dog, Dolly lover, then um, stay tuned. Uh, meanwhile, I'll get on with this haul. And, oh, I should also say, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, because it, it does make a difference with um, how I'm notified and how you're notified about things with YouTube. So, like I said last time, without further ado, I'll crack on with this haul. Thanks very much. Dress number one is described as a um, puff sleeve midi green. It's uh, a lovely print it's viscose 100% viscose with um kind of from here lining down to just above this frilled tier it's a nice length it's a size 18 and it's got a nice sleeve it's not too short it's not too tight it's a big kind of daisy print with the a lemon well, not, not lemon, kind of like a pale orange centre to the flower. Thick struching there. And um, I actually, it's, it's um, got a zip, an invisible zip all the way up the back. And it's got this open keyhole here. But I actually just pulled it on because I couldn't be bothered to undo the invisible zip. It is quite fitted here. Um, and I am holding my stomach in, I've got to confess. But it's not too bad. I think it's a lovely length. I, yeah, I'm quite taken with this dress, really. I think it looks quite smart, um, but pretty at the same time. And this one was twenty pounds and eighty pence. So, for, well, twenty quid basically. Hang on, just have some tea. I'm gasping. Twen well, twenty-one pound, I suppose, but. If if you didn't have the discount, it'd be what would it be? Oh, anyway, twenty percent more than that. 
Um, so I think, you know, often, often a slip underneath is all you need to kind of smooth out those lumps and bumps. But I think it's a lovely dress. It's got, it's got nice movement to it. I love the length of it. It's the perfect length for me. Um, but I'm five foot six, as I have said before. So anyway, that's dress number one. No pockets, but I don't think you'd want pockets on something as fitted as this. It would um, bulk it out. Yeah, I think that's a winner. Dress number two. So this is a jersey. Um, I would imagine it's polyester, but it's, it's kind of got like a little um, textured kind of feel to it. And it's it's quite stretchy. It's got this elastic ruched here and it's it's kind of stretchy around here it's got these very nice like bell sleeves angel sleeves and it is incredibly comfortable it's got this tie belt i'm never very keen on these i don't really know what they're for they always look a bit you know i'm not six i don't need a bow on my back um it's a good length again and it's a very comfortable dress and i think this one was really very reasonable this one was um is that right 13 pounds 80 13 pounds 80 i don't know if it makes my boobs look enormous but you know what i'll tell you I, I, this must just be me and my age but this reminds me of i mean i'm going back donkey shears now but do you remember when crimpling came out and in the kind of 70s, and it was all very trendy to have this kind of bold print on a kind of crimpling dress or trouser suit or whatever. And it kind of reminds me of that. And, you know, I have to say, for that reason, I wouldn't buy this dress because I, I, I kind of feel like I, I don't know, it just doesn't sit with me at all. I mean, I think it's a quite a flattering dress and it's really comfortable um I mean it's not particularly cool because it's not a natural fabric but I just can't get past the association with crimpling in my head which you'll probably all tell me I'm mad or else you'll agree with me I really don't know but that's that what that's just what it reminds me of it's it's quite a thin fabric but not too thin I mean it's totally you know it's not too clingy or anything like that but um yeah it's it's kind of a shame really because it's got an awful lot going for it but you know once you've got that in your head you kind of can't get rid of it can you it just feels i don't know i mean if that's how i feel that's how i feel but um oh the other thing i wanted to say one lady did this already actually one of my subscribers um when she went to buy one of the dresses that i had um and i was going to return it from new look and she couldn't get it online and i actually i just posted it to her she did a bank bank transfer and well i mean we take all that off youtube obviously um she did a bank transfer for the dress and the postage and i posted it to her so i really don't mind doing that if you see something you love and i'm not going to keep it then i'm happy to post it out to you i mean you know it's not a big deal i have to drive past the post office to go anywhere so yeah that's dress number two quite comfy cheap as chips what can you say <laughs> dress number three is a polyester and elastane stretch it's very stretchy fabric very kind of light silky fabric but um, it's a faux wrap and it, it's um as in it is wrapped but it's fixed but um I'm struggling on the boobage area. Um, you know, you'd have to either wear a little cami, cami under it, or I mean, if you don't mind showing your cleavage. The sleeves are okay. Did I say how much this was? This was, this was, um, I'm not blind, it's just really faint. The print on here is um, 17 pounds 60 or 80. But I mean, you can see the problem here. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it kind of fits here. So I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think you could, I don't think you could pin that. It would look 
because it's such a fine fabric. So, you know, you're either going to have to style it out with your cleavage or um, wear a camisole. But it's, uh, it's a maxi dress and um, it's nice enough. But, um, you know, if it's really hot, I don't really want to be wearing polyester. It's a nice print, though. It's like um, orange and pink. It's quite um, 60s print, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It might be more your cup of tea. I can't be, I can't be bothered nowadays. If I've got to kind of um, accommodate a dress, you know what I mean? If I can't to fix the whole object of having the saying is if you want the convenience of a dress which you just pull on and go then if you have to start wearing camisoles and you know worrying about all this lot going on I mean maybe a bigger size would do the trick I don't know I don't like it enough to bother but um you know it's a, it's a really good value dress and it, it would never crease or anything and it would wash and wear I'm sure so um yeah up to you really this is dress number four and I've gone kind of off piece for this one and you'll see what I mean when I step away from the camera this one is um a check frill midi well I don't know how they call it a midi I'll show you this was 17 pounds 60 or 80 it's a very fine cotton I mean it's it's actually see-through the cotton and it's got this kind of fake kind of bib area it's actually a 20 now I don't know why I bought a 20 whether it was because it was um I didn't have an 18 or whatever but um this is a short one I mean I would I would not wear a dress this short unless I had um like trousers or something underneath it it's it doesn't kind of fit properly to be honest because this is it's not elasticated so it's just kind of hanging here I mean it might be all right for kind of a beach dress but you know I just I mean I just don't like it really um but for a, a smaller girl in the right size it would be nice it's got a nice it's very cool really cool it's really really fine cotton um just got all this square elasticated bit it's quite flattering because of where it falls you've got all this gubbins going on so it's quite um good on the arm area but as i say i just wouldn't i just wouldn't choose to wear a dress this short really i just i'm just not comfortable um in any in any environment i've got fat knees and uh old legs i mean Oh, one thing I, yeah, I should mention, if I'm, if I'm wearing um, bare legs to any kind of occasion, a wedding or a party or anything like that, I use um, leg makeup. I use the Sally Hansen leg makeup. It's fantastic. It, it literally smooths out all the blemishes, looks like you've got very, very sheer tights on. Um, I've recommended it to so many people. A little tiny bit goes a long way, but it's really, really fabulous. Um, so I can highly recommend that if you are going bare leg to anything. So yes, yeah, so that's dress number four. I don't know why I bought it really, but I guess you know you just don't know, do you? Unless you try something. And I guess for you guys watching me do this saves you the trouble, which uh, is probably one of the reasons that it's so popular. I've got one more thing to show you, and I'll have a little chat, and then I'll wrap the video up. Okay. So the next thing I've got to show you is a top, but I still had this on when I went up to fetch my white trousers. So I just thought I'd show you what this looks like with white um, jeans underneath so you can make your own minds up. I think after all that, saying all that, I think if this was in a smaller size, if it was slightly more fitted, I think it, it might look quite nice with the, with the white trousers. I don't know what you think. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that as an option. So I'll pop the other top on and uh, we can see what that looks like. This is the final outfit and this is a top, obviously. It's um, elasticated. It kind of can be worn on or off the shoulder. 
um, it's got a nice sleeve. It's a nice silky fabric. It's a good length. It's not quite long enough for me. I'd like it to just be a, a little bit longer. But it's a very cool top. I think it'd be really nice for, you know, a summer party or a barbecue or something if we had that kind of weather. And this one is um, £11.80. That's pretty good. As I say, it's um, ooh, got a spot there. Um, it's a paisley pattern, kind of cream background, oranges, pinks, greens. It's quite fun. It's quite young. Um, but for me, yeah, I mean, it covers my belly, but it doesn't cover. I mean, I could probably wear it with, with looser trousers, but I, I wouldn't like to wear it with these particular white jeans. These are my favourite. Okay, so that was Matalan. I mean, not terribly exciting. I think probably out of all of them, the green dress with the daisies on was my favourite. Um, this, if anyone's interested, is a seersucker uh, dress from Kin in, in John Lewis. It's got it's the most comfortable thing ever. It's got pockets. I, I've still got my white jeans on, but I'll, I'll show you what this looks like. I got it in the sale last year. I didn't really like it. Stuff. So, it's really comfortable. Anyway, because a lot of people asked me what I was wearing in my last video. So, so, what have I been up to? I went shopping in West Key yesterday with the grandchildren, took them out for the best part of the day. So, my daughter could get on with some work. She's very busy. And um, they're as good as gold, actually. I mean, they don't particularly like shopping, but you know, when they think they might get something, they're always pretty good. Um, and we went into Flying Tiger. Um, I don't know if you've got those where you are, but they're kind of a funny shop, really. They sell all sorts of bits and pieces, got them a couple of pads. And then I bought them both a canvas and we bought some watercolour paints and a mixing palette. And uh, my granddaughter painted this. I don't know if it's that way up or this way up. I know it's one of these ways up. But I thought that was really good. And that was um, an artist that she had studied at school that she tried to emulate. So I thought that was rather nice. Billy was not so diligent. He did one, and when it went wrong, he uh, gave it up as a bad job. That's Billy all over, I'm afraid. So we did that, and then I also went along to the Dior counter in John Lewis and um, because I'd heard a lot about their new serum foundation, and I thought I'd have a look at that. I said right from the get-go, I'm not buying it today. Um, because really, honestly, I'll just be waiting for a discount code. It's not an urgent purchase if I do want to buy it. But I have to say, the young lady there in Dior um, was really, really lovely. And uh, she sat me down. I was like only expecting her to go, oh, yeah, you're this colour. But no, 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 she took it, sit me, sat me down, took off my makeup, tried on... But it took six six goes to get the right colour because I've got 63 shades in that foundation. And obviously they um, want to get it right. And so she did one side, this the best she thought this side, and the other the next best. She wasn't sure which was best. She said, just go out, look in the daylight, see which one you think. She gave me a sample of each of them. She said, just come back and see me if you've got any questions. She was really, really lovely. So um, I did that, and like I say, I'm not in any hurry, and I will actually try the samples and see whether it's worth it, because I think it's about £40. But you absolutely can't. How can you buy a foundation unless you've, unless you've tried the colour um, online? So, yeah, because like I said the other day, boots are 20% off, but um, and they do deal online, but um, I, just, I had no idea what shade I would be. So that was John Lewis and um popped into costco and got some bits there and that was my day really and then the kids came back and and they did painting all afternoon now i'm going to try and um get dolly to say hello wish me luck right so i've got some treats Good girl. 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 Good girl.
gently. This is Dolly. She is four. You can only see. You see, I'll put the video down a bit. You see. Dolly, she's four years old, Labradoodle. We have a little puppy, and she's a good dog. A very loud bark, but she's uh, got a very gentle nature, and um, she is, uh, yeah, she's well behaved. She's never been upstairs in her life. She doesn't go on any furniture, and she's never chewed anything either. Have you? Have you? No. It looks like she's posing now, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, a few of you asked to see her. Woo! And there she is in all her glory. So she's my husband's dog, really. But, of course, because I'm at home all the time, I'm the one that has to uh, make sure she's um, looked after. So, anyway, that's it from me. Um, I don't think there's anything else. So, anyway... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.